unprecedented, the term we love to use when describing the global pandemic. But 2021 was the year we started to take back control of these unprecedented situations. And despite concerns about the variations of the virus, the success of the vaccine meant the economy could reopen. But what's happened since then? So the much anticipated V-shaped recovery has materialized and the global economy has bounced back with the help of government spending and low interest rates. And we predicted this when we said that investors should stop hibernating. But what we also predicted was the rise in inflation and that alongside buckling supply chains has led to some quite menacing headlines. So what can we expect from 2022? For us, there are two key questions. Will inflation moderate? And how can we tackle inflation in a sustainable way? Our chief investment officer and chief economist have more. And it's early days, but a very encouraging set of results so far. Omicron is more transmissible, but that cases are mainly mild, with most hospital admissions in the unvaccinated. We've made historic progress over the last 10 months. 2022 is unlikely to blow the lights out, but it should still be a good year for global growth. Consumers have pent up demand from the savings that they built up during the lockdowns. Companies still want to build up inventories. Supply chains are beginning to ease and interest rates are low supporting the housing market. However, there are still pressure points in the world economy that will need to ease. As grisly as today's figures are, the one thing most economists agree on is that there's worse to come, with energy price hikes expected to push inflation past 5% next year. So how do we cope with the risk of inflation in our portfolios? Well, the classic answer is to make allocations to commodities, looking at the example of the 1970s. And certainly commodities do look to provide a bit of a hedge against rising inflation. Although concerns about sustainability mean that significant allocations to this asset class may be difficult. Another option is to look at your equity portfolio and in particular try and identify those sectors and companies that have the pricing power to sustain the rising costs, possibly with more thematic allocations. In the short term it looks like inflation is here to stay, but we do expect inflation to moderate through 2022. Supply chains are expected to begin to ease and although wages are accelerating, we think that will be offset by higher productivity. The worst scenario would be one where wages accelerate and we get into a wage price spiral. Then we think the central banks would have to react by tightening monetary policy. The Chancellor Rishi Sunak will use tomorrow's budget to pledge more support for jobs and businesses as the Covid restrictions are gradually lifted. Fiscal policy will be less supportive. The UK is set to increase taxes in 2022, for example. Meanwhile, central banks will be looking to increase interest rates and tighten monetary policy to head off the pickup in inflation. Fiscal support will be withdrawn, but 2022 should see the handover from fiscal to private sector demand. With this, though, comes the risk that the private sector won't step up, creating weakness in demand and a weaker world economy. What's been interesting about 2021 is that we've had a desynchronized global recovery, and we expect that to continue into 2022, driven by different speeds of recovery from the virus, as well as different policy responses. Essentially, we're going to see a two-speed recovery. What does this all mean for valuations? We still see some upside to equities driven by solid earnings as well as fairly low bond yields. But we need to recognise that interest rate volatility is picking up as investors start to focus on the prospect of central banks tightening liquidity in 2022. So all in all, we see positive returns for equities, but ultimately rising bond yields will pose a speed limit to returns. Johanna, could you give us one takeaway for the viewer? Disruption. The pandemic reshuffled the cards politically, socially and economically and also showed the power of human ingenuity. Things will never be the same again. 2022, the year where the economy looks set to be divided by recovery speeds. The year of the disruptors and the year of the big inflation questions. Johanna and Keith have given us a lot to think about there. Thank you for watching and our next episode of Schroders TV will be about energy transition and will be available on the website with other episodes.